So let's talk about some forensic applications and how they relate to chromatography. So imagine you're watching CSI and they're talking about catching the criminal and they run something by GCMS back or HPLC in order to get the answer. So forensic labs for decades have relied on primarily on GC, GCMS spec, uh, to identify unknowns. So whether we're looking for alcohol in blood, that's obviously done by GC Headspace, or we're looking for drugs in blood, that's done by GCMS spec, um, or we're looking at uh, res uh, some residual samples from a fire and we're questioning whether it was arson. Uh, those are all applications uh, that fall into the, into the GC realm. The reason why this is so important is if you want to accuse someone, if you want to accuse a U.S. citizen uh, of, of a crime, you need to prove that. The burden of proof is on the state. So uh, so you, those of you who work in the forensic labs, you play a very important role in this justice system because it is your job to make sure that something is, is there. So in other words, we can't just put someone in jail based on a suspicion. We have to have evidence, we have to have data. And that data has to be real. It can't just be, well, I think it's probably cocaine. It has to be certain. So that's where chromatography and mass spectrometry come in together. So we've helped a lot of people in the forensic industry. I'm happy to say that every region of the DEA has sent their scientists uh, here to us. Uh, we've been doing this for, for 20 years. So we've helped a lot of those folks and we'd love to help you as well. So if you have forensic questions, forensic problems, um, please contact us, let us know, and uh, we'd love to see you in a future class.